Hi, I am Dr. Sushal Shantakumar. I am a consultant shoulder surgeon practicing in Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Throwing is a complex motion uh, which involves, which puts a lot of stress to the muscles around the shoulder and the ligaments around the shoulder, which is why the athletes who are, who are involved in throwing, like baseball pitchers, badminton players, basketball players, volleyball players, cricket bowlers, they are prone to this shoulder injuries. Slap tears, we call it superior labral anterior posterior tears. The top portion of your ligament or what we call labrum in the shoulder will be torn especially common in cricket bowlers and in tennis players. You can have biceps pathology. It can be biceps tendinitis to biceps tears. What happens is due to repetitive, repetitive throwing can put strain on the biceps tendon, which can lead to inflammation and further partial tear to full tears. You can have rotator cuff tendinitis. You can have rotator cuff tears. Then you can have uh, there is a condition known as glenohumeral internal rotation defect. So what happens in this? We commonly abbreviate it as GIRD, G-I-R-D. Repetitive throwing can loosen the tissues in front. You know, we call it the anterior capsule. On the contrary, and tighten the posterior capsule. Loosen the tissues in front and tighten the uh, capsules at the back. So this can cause uneven movement of the shoulder joint, leading to pain and restriction of internal rotation patient will have typically uh, problems in reaching behind his back. Then we can have instability or you can even have recurrent uh, subluxations and dislocations. Repetitive throwing like I mentioned can cause stretching or even laxity of the tissues finally leading to frank tears which can cause dislocations and subluxations in the shoulder joint.